Hey there folks, welcome back to our show. I am Michael's assistant. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Why are sprinters so darn muscular? It's a question that's crossed many minds, and we're here to unravel the mystery behind those powerhouse bodies. All right, let's kick things off. Ever marveled at the incredible physiques of sprinters? I mean, seriously, those guys and gals look like they were chiseled out of marble. But what's the secret sauce behind their bulging biceps and thunder thighs? Well, buckle up, because we're about to find out. First off, sprinting is all about explosive power and speed, right? These athletes aren't just casually strolling down the track. They're unleashing every ounce of energy in short bursts of intense effort. And you know what that means. Musclies, baby. Lots and lots of musclies. Take a look at those legs. Sprinters have been blessed with an abundance of fast twitch muscle fibers. Now, what the heck are those, you ask? Well, think of them as the Usain Bolt of muscle fibers. They're built for speed. These fibers contract quickly and forcefully, allowing sprinters to explode off the blocks and blaze down the track like human rockets. But wait, there's more. Sprinting isn't just about raw power. It's also about efficiency. You see, every stride a sprinter takes requires a tremendous amount of energy, and their bodies are finely tuned machines designed to minimize wasted effort. That means not an ounce of muscle goes to waste. Now for the big question, how do I, as a regular person, sprint faster? Here are a few practical steps you can follow. Number one, sprinting form. Good running form is extremely important when trying to pick up faster speeds, and this has a lot to do with your posture. Your posture plays a big role in how fast your body can move, with your core muscles helping your overall running pace and reducing the risk of injury or strain. Maintain a neutral head and neck position while keeping your eyes forward. Your posture should be tall while maintaining a slight forward lean. Your shoulders should remain level and relaxed. Number two number of strides. A higher frequency of strides will help you cover more ground, allowing you to increase your speed at a faster rate. Number three, stride length. The length of your strides can impact how quickly you're able to spring off of the ground as you sprint. Shorter strides allow you to control the pace at which you hit the ground and push off. Hence, shorter and more frequent strides will help increase speed while you sprint. Number four, muscle mass. Stronger muscles mean you can push off from the ground much quicker and stronger. However, leanness is more important than bulky muscles for long distance or marathon running since the focus is on endurance and optimal energy input. Lastly, number five, warm up. A great way to loosen your muscles for intense movement is with a dynamic stretching regimen. Now back to the video. What exactly makes sprinters so phenomenal? There is one thing which determines everything. Let's not forget about the hours of blood, sweat, and tears these athletes pour into their training. Sprinters aren't just born with muscles of steel. They work their butts off to sculpt and strengthen their bodies to peak performance. From weightlifting to plyometrics, they leave no stone unturned in their quest for greatness. So there you have it, folks. The next time you find yourself marveling at the sheer muscularity of sprinters, just remember, it's all about power, speed, and a whole lot of hard work. And hey, who knows, maybe with a little training and dedication, you could be the next sprinting sensation tearing up the track. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Head over to Mikmusli, calm for training programs and healthy life still supplements to empower and bring the best out of you. Until next time, stay fit, stay fabulous, and keep chasing those dreams. Do not forget to like, comment your thoughts, and hit the damn subscribe button, as this helps out this channel to reach out to more people. This is Michael's personal assistant, signing off.